All right, uh, we're gonna have some fun here today. We're gonna try a, a video that I honestly don't know if it's gonna work or not. I have no idea if this video is gonna even have a tangible conclusion other than we're trying something. So for the last several generations, and by several I mean at least three or four generations of AMD graphics cards, it's been a thing to flash a higher tier BIOS onto a lower tier card. So we finally received a 6950X from PowerColor here. This is their Red Devil. And we have a 6900, or let's say X, 6950 XT, the T matters, you know, because that's throwback to all the old Radeon stuff. Anyway, I have a 6900 XT here, which has the bad BIOS, remember that card? We now have a 6950 uh, XT. So I wanna see if we can put this BIOS on that card. It worked with our 5700 and 5700 XT. See if it works with this one. We interrupt this video to bring you a special message from iFixit. No, we interrupt this interruption with this interruption. That new stuff from iFixit. Wish you had a new graphics card, but inventory sucks. Fix the inventory problems with iFixit. Whoa, don't drop it. Can't fix that with iFixit. Just kidding, yes you can. Wish you could take iFixit with you anywhere, but your pockets aren't big enough. Introducing the new Moray. And the new Mino. Take them with you anywhere. So get iFixit for your loved ones, or just get them for yourself. For all intents and purposes, the 6950 and the 6900 are the same card. Uh, clock speeds are their major difference. They have the exact same amount of transistors, the exact same amount of ROPs, the same amount of texture shaders. It's all the same. What's different here is clock speeds for both memory and GPU. Now, the interesting thing about this here, when we flashed the 5700 XT BIOS on the reference card, uh, to the reference 5700 non-XT, we immediately started dealing with crashing because the higher clock speeds on the 5700 XT were not quite stable on the 5700. But with a little bit of manual tuning, if you, if you go back and watch that video, we were able to get it running. We were able to match the speed of the, 67, or the 5700 XT and then even pass it by about 2% with a little bit of uh, voltage tuning and fan speed tuning and all that sort of stuff. Because these are both custom cards with better coolers, I don't expect it to be quite as hard. They are the exact same PCB. They are the exact same layout. They are identical. The difference between the 5700 XT and the 5700 that we showed back in the day was uh, some transistor or some um, voltage regulators were missing and some power phases were missing. Uh, however, if you look at tech power up on these two cards and you look at the specs, you will find that although they have the exact same transistor count, the exact same everything, they do have a slightly different number when it comes to the core. Now they are the same core, it's just I think that has everything to do with microcode because they have to be identified differently. Because they have a different core clock, they technically are a different core because they're also two different family of GPU. Like there is a numbering difference for the model itself. I don't know if this is gonna work. If it works, Great, you know, it, it will void your warranty, obviously, if you go flashing BIOS and stuff. Um, and that's only if you had to send it back to the manufacturer with that BIOS on there, they'll be like, wait a minute. But it will identify and show up in everything as a 6950 uh, XT at that point. At least I think it will. You can flash it back if you ever need to warranty anything and it's not like computer ECUs in a car where they can tell they've been flashed a bunch of times, it should, it, you should be able to return it. However, you do this at your own risk. This is not a guide on how to do it. It's more or less answering the question, can you? If it doesn't work, I like to show you why. Is it because you can't flash it? Is it because if it accepts the flash, then maybe something happens in the system where um, it won't post? I don't know. So rather than just telling you online like, oh yeah, it doesn't work if we've tried it offline, I'd like to take you guys along for the ride to at least see why. Fortunately, because it's a dual BIOS card, both of them are, although this one, remember one of the BIOS died, so it doesn't work. Funny enough, PowerColor said that they would send me a replacement and then they'd send me a label to send that one back to them so they could figure out exactly what went wrong. That card never showed up, neither did the label but the new card did, so nah, that's why we're doing this video now. I'm kind of glad it didn't show up because then we wouldn't have this card to do this with. We need the older card, which is that one, and I want them to be identical. So what I want to do is a little baseline um, measurement right here. I'm just going to run some times by extreme. We'll do a custom run. We only care about graphics. I'm going to see what our score is prior to flashing. I have not powered this card up yet. This is the 6950 XT. I have not plugged it into the system. If 
For the love of God, I hope it works. If it doesn't, for some reason, I'll grab the other BIOS off of Tech Power Up. But I plan on putting this on the system, stripping the BIOS out of it, taking it off the system, putting the 6900 XT back on there, and then flashing this BIOS to it, the OC BIOS. So our graphics score there was a 10,375. Hey, you know what's funny? We had like a 9300, 9400, or something like that with a 1080 Ti SLI. It's funny how if SLI were still a thing, it wouldn't necessarily obsolete your stuff that fast. But anyway, I digress. So let me go ahead and get the 6950 XT on there. Let me get the BIOS flashed. Um, I guess I could go ahead and do the run with this on there. I mean, the spoiler will, will be whether or not that even comes close to it, but I'll just, while it's on there for the sake of time, I'll run Time Spy with the 6950 XT, um, pull the BIOS off of it, and then we'll go through the flashing process and see if it's gonna work. So it's a 10,455 for the 6950 XT. I expected more, honestly. Um, it's $100 more MSRP. I mean, it's not a big price jump, but it is a price jump. That, I mean, that wouldn't be noticeable in games. Yes, this is one test, this is a synthetic, but synthetics typically will show bigger gaps between cards because they're perfect scaling, so it's odd. 10,455. So it's almost like, is it just seems like this effort doesn't even become close to worth it. Let me go ahead and rip, pull this BIOS off. So let's save to file. All right, and we'll just call this uh, 6950XT, something simple for the BIOS file. Boom. Let's now put, 6900 XT on there. I've already unlocked this BIOS because of when we were trying to fix it that day to see if something corrupted on the other BIOS where you're flashing the bad one um, to see if it would work. So this one is already unlocked. I won't be doing the unlock step. I'll literally just be trying to tell it to load the BIOS. If it won't work from within the, the Win GUI, I'm gonna try and do the force method using the command prompt, but I don't have a huge amount of confidence that this is gonna work, honestly. But I just wanna answer the question for you guys, because that way you guys don't have to necessarily try it. Or, if you guys spot something I'm doing incorrectly, because I'd be shocked if somebody hasn't already tried this and made a video about it, but I have not gone and researched if anyone else has tried this. I'm sure the 3D community has already, but I don't know what their, their outcomes are. I like to find out things on my own, and then if I get screwed up, then I'll go and look it up and be like, oh, hey, look, you're an idiot. It was easy, you just screwed up. 6950 XT was designed to compete against the 3090 by boosting clock speeds and memory speeds. But unfortunately, in the time it took for the 6950 XT to come out, the, 6900, or the 3090 Ti came out. Although that's a $1,099 MSRP versus a $2,000 MSRP. If I had to choose between those two cards, hands down, a 6950 or 6950 XT Super Ti would be the best card, in my opinion. We've made fun of the name so much, I can't even say the right one. What happens if you mix red and green? You just get brown? Team brown, sure. Current BIOS version is quite a bit different. That's fine. Image size, XRC, program. Subsystem ID mismatch. Yeah, see, that's what I was worried about because the GUI doesn't want to let us do it. Let me figure this out and then we'll come back so we're not wasting your time. Okay, so we've been trying, so here's the deal. Um, the SSID on the 6900 XT is of 2414. The SSID on the new one is a 2420. I've been trying to overcome this and or even somehow write the new card to be a 2420, but I can't find anything in AMD VB Flash that will allow me to just force it to go. I've been looking on the internet, I've been looking in the guide that came with it. Nothing seems to be allowing me to just force it. You can do that with NVIDIA cards. NV Flash will allow you to just, it'll say subset ID mismatch. Do you, the SSID is a subset ID. Uh, mismatch, do you want to continue with the, with the cracked version? You just say yes, and then it's like, okay, buddy, you're on your own, you know, and then you go. But I can't overcome that with this. But given the fact that we only went from a 10.375 to a 10.375, 455 between the 6900 and 6950, that got me thinking. Maybe what I'll do um, is I'll get the water-cooled, the Liquid Devil BIOS for this card. Because this card and the Liquid Devil are the same card. They're just, again, different clock speeds, which is essentially all you're getting with the 6950 XT is a little bit better binned GPU with like a 100 megahertz clock speed boost across the board. We could manually do that. But I'm curious now, can I, I'm just gonna download the better BIOS and put it on there. So it's a little bit less dangerous than say, 
flashing a BIOS that's from a different card entirely onto here, which I can't force to happen anyway. And by the way, if you know what I'm doing wrong, please bleep, bloop it down below, as Derek would say from Viascript Garage, because I'm curious as to if there is a way to manually do this, because all the guides I see don't show a way to, to force it. But anyway, moving on, um, I am going to look at uh, what BIOS are available, and I'm just gonna basically find the fastest one for the 6900 XT and flash that on here and see then if we can't get some, some more performance out of this thing effectively for free. It's like the longest file name, like so unnecessarily. Um, 6900 XT, I'll call it LD for Liquid Devil. So let's load that image. Program. That's the part where you really hope there's no power outage. <laughs> or your cat or your dog knocks the cable out or something. Your VBIOS was programmed successfully. So the card is reporting speeds of 2315 and 2490. So they are up. It was from 2235 up to 2315 and then the 2490, I think it was like 2450 or something like that. So, or 2425, somewhere around there. So it's up. Um, memory is at 2000, that's pretty much stock. One thing I do know is that the memory for the 50, or 6950X is 2225. So I'm gonna manually overclock the memory and I'm not going to touch anything else with the clock. 2250 is where the 6950X is. Apply. Okay, did we, by flashing the liquid BIOS and then matching the memory, get a 69, or get a 10,455? The thing is you could, you could technically do this without flashing the BIOS either. You could have just gone into the tuner and done it. But you know me, answering the tough unanswered questions. Unanswered. Unanswered. Oh, my tooth hurts, sorry. It's hard to talk when you have a tooth pain. Ag aggressive eating. <laughs> Ironically, this looks, so well, I'm getting some artifacting. I was getting blue lines across the entire screen. So one of the things that we could see them, fine. That's gonna be the memory overclock, which means the 6950X is not just obviously bo boomed, binned, uh, Navi 21 dies, they are also binned memory. Artifacts like this can also cause a score degradation. So I'm, I'm expecting the score to probably be potentially even worse than the stock one. Ooh, yeah, 9147. <laughs> That's, uh, there's a couple reasons why that could be. Going into manual might have also just reduced the boost table entirely. So that actually scored below our two 1080 Ti's that we did. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna turn off custom. I'm gonna go to rage mode. Where'd you get the machine? I was actually speaking Steve's native language. A 10.562. So that's the highest score we've had already. <laughs> now, uh, 10.562. So we had a 10.375 with the stock BIOS, a 10.455 with the 6950XT, and a 10.562 with the liquid BIOS off the 6900XT and putting it into rage mode. I did not put rage mode on the factory um, BIOS, which would have probably brought it up to probably somewhere around a 10400 maybe, which would have matched the 6950X. Yes, you could also put the 6950X a XT into a Rage BIOS, and it would also then probably be higher than this. It'd be leapfrogging each other by a half a percent at a time. If you have to take any sort of moral from this story, it's one, flashing a 6950X BIOS to a 6900 XT, not easy if doable at all. Two, flashing the Liquid Devil BIOS was also completely unnecessary because I have no doubt that we could have gone in and manually tuned this to be even faster than we're getting with Rage mode. And three, the 6950, the 6950 XT Super Ti um, also just kind of seems like an unnecessary GPU, to be honest. I mean, this is my first time getting my hands on one. I was surprised it wasn't faster out of the box, stock for stock, because they both ran stock. No rage mode, no nothing, and that was only 100 points difference. Not even 100 points. Anyway, there you go. Answering the question no one asked. Nope, can't flash it. Not worth it. Don't bother. Don't try. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.